What's up? Today we're going to get some tacos over at Bodega at their second and brand new location in Fort Lauderdale. Bodega is probably one of my favorite places to get tacos for sure in Miami. Um, and like I said, they just opened this location I think in November of 2020. And uh, I love this place. Uh, I've been wanting to make a video here for a while, so I hope you guys like it. If this is your first time to my channel, I make weekly videos about where to eat in South Florida. I've made videos on Indian food, Ethiopian food, hot pot, Korean barbecue, Texas style barbecue, uh, ice cream cookie sandwiches, cinnamon buns, Jamaican food, a ton of stuff, a ton of variety. I like everything. So if you want to find a new place to eat in South Florida, subscribe to the channel. But I'm running late, so let's get going. <music> Bodega here in Fort Lauderdale on Las Olas, right across the street from the wharf. So if you like to hang out at the wharf, uh, you probably notice this place because they just opened in November, I believe. Their first location is in um, the first location is Miami Beach, and they've been there for like six, seven, maybe eight years now. At the time of this recording, yeah, they've been there for a little bit, and uh, they opened this spot. And I love this place for their tacos. Everything I've ever had here has been awesome. They got a, a bar slash lounge in the back, and um, it's pretty cool. So, and they're, they they sell the taco. I'm not sure about this place, but at the one in Miami Beach, they sell the the bars open till five, I think, and they sell the tacos up until five. But let me show you the menu now, so you can get an idea of what they got. So this is the menu. Um, they obviously have tacos, and they do a daily happy hour from six to eight p.m. and the classic tacos are two dollars and they have other ones that are great like the crispy fish steak chimichurri which is amazing probably one of my favorites the coconut shrimp you got burritos which we got the surface surf which we're gonna try sounds awesome they got some appetizers like chili queso chips and salsa elote ceviche and you got some bowls and some extras like churros paletas and some other stuff so yeah, this place is awesome. A lot of good food here. But now that we got all that info out of the way, let's eat. We're gonna start with these uh, loaded carne asada nachos, which look amazing. These are amazing. Obviously they have um, carne asada, they have red onion, tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, chili crema, colija, cheese, and chili queso. These are really good. If you come here in a group, forget the chips and guac, chips and salsa, any other appetizer, just get this. All the times that I've come to this place, I've never gotten a burrito. I always get their tacos. But they have one called the Surf and Turf with shrimp, carne asada, rice, tomato, cilantro, and it sounded amazing, so we had to try it. Christy's sister likes shrimp. I like shrimp. Why not try it? We'll see. This is an awesome burrito. And partly what makes it awesome is, is that it's not just filled with stuff. It has plenty. It has enough. And it's the perfect amount. A plus burrito, for sure. For sure, for sure. And finally, let's talk about the things that keep me coming back to this place always 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 anytime i have friends or family visit and they say they want tacos i bring them to this place just because i love the tacos here so much let's start with this uh coconut shrimp taco which has coconut shrimp mango pico potato sticks cilantro and salsa rosada and it looks awesome i don't know if i've had this one before i've had a couple of their fish ones don't remember if it was the crispy i think i've had the crispy i've had the mahi um, they have another shrimp one, I think. Ta tequila, tequila shrimp. But anyway. And I love all the sauces and fixings they put on their tacos. Like they'll add, the El Pastor has, um, it has pineapple on it. So this one has a mango pico, the potato sticks. Again, the salsa, like, I just, I love that. And that one was great. Now we're going to try this crispy fish taco, which has pickled purple cabbage, tomato, potato sticks, cilantro, and tartar verde. And obviously, the fried fish. Mm. 
that one's always been great and I think it's important because the fish is not super fried you know it's not a greasy slab of fried fish now we're gonna talk about this El Pastor taco which is obviously pork uh, they have charred pineapple red onion cilantro and a salsa rosada this I think for me is one of my favorite places to get the, an El Pastor taco right here I just love the, the pineapple on El Pastor and anytime I go to a place that doesn't have pineapple on their El Pastor taco I'm a little disappointed because I really think it makes it that much better let's talk about this barbacoa taco gray short rib with cotija cheese charred onion potato sticks cilantro and salsa rosada this is also a really good taco here what I love most about this one the saltiness of the meat the crispiness of the potato sticks and that combination will forever be my favorite salty and crispy and crunchy is the best it, there's nothing better than that and to round out the top three best tacos or maybe my favorite tacos I should say the steak chimichurri which is grilled grilled ribeye steak purple cabbage tomato potato sticks radish cilantro and chimichurri aioli an amazing taco here I love this place I just I love this place so much again with this one it probably makes it one of my favorites is the saltiness the the crispiness of the potato sticks and the steak is good it's flavorful it's charred like meaty salty crispy like what it, it's hard to not like that texture and flavor and combination of taste you know like what what's not to like so don't forget if you're coming here for the first time and you're unsure of which tacos to get steak chimichurri el pastor what was the other one Steak chimichurri, El Pastor, Christy Sisson says the Christy fish. That's her favorite. I think I think what makes this place one of my favorites and so great to me is that they have they're like there's a little bit of creativity in every, every taco. So if you're coming here and expecting like super authentic just the meat, cilantro, and onion taco like straight out of Mexico, you're not gonna get that. But that's not a bad thing because what they add to it makes the taco that much better with the potato sticks, the salsa, the avocado salsa, the chimichurri aioli, the uh, chipotle cream, the charred pineapple, charred mango, like it's just, it, it makes them better. So like, it's a great place. Do I sound like a broken record yet? This is a great place for tacos. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you're looking for a specific suggestion on where to eat. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.